I'm gonna start this video off by saying that this is going to be completely spoiler filled if you have not read chapter one of The Devil's Heir, which you can find on my website by signing up for my members page. So hello everyone, my name is Eleni Lopez, author of The Devil's Heir, which is a young adult paranormal romance due to come out October 24th. And today we're gonna talk about how this became this, at least for the first chapter. So if you're new to the writerly world and you've been watching a bunch of writerly YouTube videos, I guess, you'll probably know the last thing that you want to do for your chapter one is open with a dream, is probably open with a long car ride staring out the window as a character. I don't know, muses about their life. Or there are some other things that I'm sure you can find out about by watching said videos. I can't remember them off the top of my head, but like I said, we're talking about my chapters. So how did I open the first draft of The Devil's Air compared to its, well, this isn't gonna be the final copy, but its newest, latest copy? I did exactly what I just told you not to do. I opened with basically my main character who is Calla Jones. Like I said, I hope you read chapter one before watching this video. If not, you're gonna get some spoilers. I opened with my character Calla Jones in the car with her Aunt Polly on her way to what she's gonna find out is Diablo, Washington after she found her grandmother murdered. So basically I opened up, this was my first line. Chapter 1. There's approximately 5 liters of blood in the adult human body and I swore every ounce of it was pooled on the floor next to my grandmother. Which I still think is a pretty cool first line. But anyways, so she, Kala basically just goes on to talk about how she found her grandmother murdered. So while I took that scene out, it, at least that was basically the first, let's see. The first page and a half was just her thought. So she was physically in the car, but she was, you know, in her own thoughts. So I took that scene and I moved it elsewhere in the book. Um, and then the entire rest of the first chapter is basically just my two characters in the car talking about what is going on and, uh, or at least talking about what just happened. So while that was Kella's life, previously to her grandmother being murdered it didn't really push the story any further you kind of just got a bunch of information thrown at you all you knew was there was this girl her grandmother was murdered now she's in a car with her aunt so i realized that i should just completely cut out that first chapter at least the car version of that chapter and i moved it to that's what I have my laptop right here, which is basically my second draft. Yeah, like my second draft. This is the draft that went to my beta readers back in, oof, I think it was like February. So if you read the first chapter on my website, you will know that it opens up with Kala meaning a girl named Daisy as she's being enrolled into school. So essentially, this is kind of where I opened, I, I changed it from that car scene into this scene, but I still started it off with, my name is Calla Jones and I live with my aunt because my mother was killed when I was a child. Truth. More accurately, my name is Calla Jones and I found my grandmother's body after she was viciously murdered and as my only, li as my only living relative, I now live with my aunt. Again, I still think that is pretty intriguing for the first couple sentences, but as it goes on, I would say again about the next two-ish pages, um, it's still Kala just talking about the transition from living with her grandmother to her new life with Aunt Polly. So again, it's just kind of a spiel of information being laid on the character not the character being laid on the reader and so while you do get a lot of important backstory to Kala's life the developmental editor that I worked with 
basically said that all of that information can be layered in throughout the first chapter or even the first couple chapters of the book rather than being just like I said thrown on the first couple pages because it's important information. So what my developmental editor suggested was that it start out where it starts out how you guys read it which is let me read the first line for you guys which is Introducing myself as the girl whose guardian was murdered is not the best way to make a good first impression. So again, I still think it is a great first line because you find out the most important thing that happened in Kala's life up until that point was the fact that her grandmother was murdered. Which I think is intriguing because <laughs> how did this girl's grandmother get murdered? Where is she now? Why isn't it the first good impression? yada 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 i'm not gonna beat you into why i think you should think that my first sentence is cool but you guys get the point so that was one of the biggest takeaway i had from the developmental editor at least when it came to the first chapter if you watch my video about my experience with working with the developmental editor which i will put up in the cards for you guys if you haven't seen it i highly recommend that all first-time writers should definitely work with a developmental editor my book would not be what it is today if it wasn't for her so even though i know a lot of newbie writers would do exactly what i did either with the dream sequence or sitting in the car and just thinking about everything that's happened in your character's life i think that your book should open up right into the action so what my editor was saying is in that in that um in the version that i was talking about that i sent to my beta reader it happened the same on the same day basically that my latest chapter did which is the day that kala enrolled into school but it still had about i don't know two pages of spiel to it so my editor was basically saying if that is if that is going to be the beginning action of that chapter why wouldn't you just open up with that so I definitely think that's a really important takeaway because I know that you want to, you know, get into the backstory and try to get into your character's head. But if there's going to be any sort of important action in the chapter, especially your first chapter, you might as well just start right there because you don't want to lose the interest of the reader, right? So like in the version that, um, that my beta readers had, there's no real dialogue for like three pages so it's just her backstory her backstory her backstory which again I still think is an interesting way to open up the chapter just because <laughs> well again some biases I think that my character's background is incredibly interesting um, and intriguing but you get to learn her background throughout even just the first chapter like you learn all the important things you learn about her abuse you learn about her parents you learn about how she grows up throughout that throughout the entire chapter you don't have to just have your first three pages filled with it because then as you continue through that chapter you're still going to want to mention specific things that are specific to your character so Kala came from a lot of abuse as a child. So those are things that you're going to want to mention, like even her bi her biblical references, like when her Aunt Polly pushed open the office door, she always says, um, or Kala says, you know, she parted the door like Moses parted the Red Sea, you know, things like that. So you're going to want to throw in those specific bits about your character throughout that chapter. And if you already spieled everything important to your character in the first couple pages, you're kind of just repeating it you know what I mean so I know this was kind of just me just talking to you guys but if you follow me you kind of know that's how I do all my videos but I hope all of that at least made some sort of sense to you because like I said especially if you're a newbie writer you're automatically gonna want to go to this car ride version which well first of all just don't do <laughs> don't don't do it this way even with the updated version, which was the second draft that went to my beta readers, again, oops, sorry, I think the camera just moved. Again, try to start right in the action. And by in the action, I, doesn't, I, I don't mean that it has to be, you know, um, 
like a fight scene but like mine open with a simple introduction one girl introducing herself to another so it opened up and then you can kind of put all of those little bits about her background into the story or even like if you if you read the first chapter in the second half of the first chapter Kala has a lot of alone time and that's when she get that's when she starts to think about her past but even then it's not her just sitting there you know it wasn't she wasn't just sitting there thinking about her past she was slowly unloading the contents that she brought with her and she realized just how little 17 years meant to her so don't don't info dump is basically the entire point of this spiel so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope to help you out at least a little bit like i said i can't really get into too much details because this is very book specific but hopefully you got a couple tricks or some tips in mind and like i said i highly recommend that all newbie writers work in, work with a developmental editor at least for their first book because my editor's information was invaluable to me and i highly recommend working with her again i worked with natasha from rare bird editing so i will link her website down below if you guys are interested in seeing exactly who it was that i worked with and yeah so as always i'm sorry if this was a spiely kind of video that's just kind of how i roll if you have any questions you always know where to reach me and i will see you guys in the next video <laughs> okay bye